Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today's gonna be pretty fun. My neighbor's come up here and he's got a golf cart that he uses out on his property and we're gonna be putting new lights on his golf cart. So his old lights went out and I said, hey, I got some new lights down here. Let's slap them on there, try them out. So we're gonna put these new lights on and show you how they work. We'll post a link down below in the video description to the lights if you wanna pick yourself up a pair for your golf cart, for your beach rig, for your truck. Let's have some fun, woo! Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. All right, guys. So first things first, let's talk a little bit, and we'll walk around this golf cart. This is what my friend Tony here. He's my good neighbor, my good friend, and I like to pay it for it. I like to give him stuff. He likes to give me stuff. We just have fun sharing with each other. So what this golf cart is is a high lifted easy go utility cart and we'll walk you around it it's kind of like what you'd see at a golf course or what people use to manage their property when they don't want to spend fourteen thousand dollars on a ridiculous gator so this little golf cart has a utility bed on the back of it nice little seat it seats three it has a robins two-cylinder engine in it there it is it's up underneath there and just a real simple little piece of equipment to use it's a two-wheel drive piece of equipment and a lot of people use these on their farms and a lot of people use these out at the beach that's where you really see them and you see a lot of electric golf carts out at the beach especially here in the carolinas so what we're going to replace are these old outdated lights right here we're going to get him hooked up we took our voltage meter and we made sure that the switch is getting power okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these lights right here okay and we're going to just basically have our socket set right here and we're going to pull these guys off you can see these guys are fairly adjustable so what we're going to do is figure out how to get them off first and then we're going to install the new guys which are significantly different this led technology is a lot better a lot smaller as you can see there's the original light and here's the new light pretty cool and we'll show these to you tonight when the sun's down okay i would do a before and after but the bulbs are blown in these right here oh you metric little turd don't you love it when you're working on something and you get out your standard socket set and it's metric and then you realize you have a metric and standard socket set. Cobalt makes good tools, guys. I'm a big fan. All around good shop tool. You know, if you paid those expensive tool prices and you lost it, then you'd really be out something. If you lost this, you just go buy a new one, 20 bucks. It looks to me the install that was previously done was kind of done, well, not in Stony Ridge Farmer fashion. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use heat shrink wrap. We're gonna do this right. We're gonna do it nice. Do a good job for our neighbor. I believe, oh, I need an extension. This is really simple, guys, but it's fun. Sometimes it's fun just watch somebody else work, isn't it? All right, old light is off. And what we're gonna do, we wanna turn that switch off. We'll turn the power off to it and we'll cut the wire and we're just gonna double check and make sure we're getting voltage to this thing. Dude, right there. What's not so smart about what I just did was I cut the wire so short that even if we wanted to reuse these, we can't reuse them now because I did a dumb move. I hope my neighbor will forgive me. All right, now we've got both of these removed and we're gonna go ahead and remove these mounting brackets, okay? It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but we're gonna get up underneath here and get these mounting brackets off. We both working on it now. I'll show you guys this wiring, kind of Mickey Mouse wiring. I call it Mickey Mouse wiring, because Mickey Mouse could have probably done a better job. So the lights are mounted on with these little brackets right here, and we've got replacement brackets for those. And up underneath here, there are two more kind of self-tapper type screws that are used to hold this thing in position. Um, they were really loose, so when we put it all back together, we'll make sure it's all right and tight, and life is good. All right, here's that piece. We'll set them to the side and get in here. and Check out these little wiring connectors. Guys, this is not used for outside. It's just not good for outside use, um, especially in a golf cart or something like this. It's gonna be bouncing around a lot, so. We're gonna get rid of those. So guys, we had to do a little bit of wiring in here, okay? So right now we got our switch set up to test. Go ahead and turn that switch on, Mr. Tony. Right there. So it's a nine volt system, okay? Pretty cool. So now we know we've got power. We're gonna get these guys wired up nicely. We're gonna take off this little Mickey Mouse thing and we're gonna cut the wire back here behind where it was so that we can eliminate this as a factor of bending and breaking. 
We've got our soldering gun out. Things are getting serious here. We're going to solder our connections and do it like they're supposed to be done. So from here, from the switch all the way through, we only have one solid piece of wire and we're going to solder up our connections. These lights don't take a whole lot of electricity, they don't take a whole lot of amperage, so we're not really concerned with whether the wire can handle the amperage from the light. If you look closely at these lights, it's only like a, I don't know, 16 gauge or something like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the soldering iron. We'll get my buddy to hold the trigger for me, get it nice and hot and we'll get ready, we'll solder these wires and then we'll put some heat shrink wrap on there. Now folks, if you've never used this heat shrink wrap, basically this is what it is and we just take our two ends of our wires, we twist them together and we heat shrink them together. And I'll show you that, I'll give you a little detail here. First thing we're gonna do is take our little piece of heat shrink and slide it over our wire. Then we'll twist our wires together. Actually, first thing we'll do is mess this up and then we'll start over. And this will protect it from the elements a lot nicer. Put our dark wire to our dark wire and our bright wire to our bright wire. My helper is getting really close to that soldering iron. I'm thinking of a burned, uh, branded tattoo that's getting ready to come. No you guys, you see that soldering iron, the tip of it? It's like... When I was in the Air Force, that was a thing. Everybody wanted to brand themselves. So all of a sudden, these guys were branding their arms with coat hangers one day. And I said, that, dude, I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, you're not part of the club. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's cool with me. Okay, so anytime we're doing any kind of soldering, we're going to use this stuff called flux, okay? That's what it is right there, flux. We'll dip our wires down in it. And basically, the flux is designed to pull the solder down into it. I don't know what it does, but it pulls solder down in there. So we'll get our solder out and we'll solder them together. Good, right there. Gonna get it hot. Take our little piece of solder, melt them in there. That'll be good right there. Let these cool just a little bit. We'll take our heat shrink, squeeze it tight right here. We'll take our heat shrink and slide it up over top hopefully up over top of the wire, just like a little sock. So the heat shrink is on there and we'll do the other side. Basically slip that up over the wire. So what we've got here guys, I buy these big propane cans and these are the canisters that you would get for like camping. And we've got a self striking, self lighting, uh, little propane Bunsen burner type torch. I'll post links down below to the lights and I'll post links down below to this thing, but it's self-lighting, which is very, very nice. I'm gonna turn that heat down nice and low and I'll show you the heat shrink, shrinking up. You see the heat right here. Okay, so we just basically, whoo, just put a little heat to it. I almost burn it. There we go. Get a little heat to it and that stuff shrinks right up. Kind of nice, kind of neat. So that's how all of our connections are gonna go together on this build right here and we're just gonna, wrap this up in here we'll zip tie it up in a nice spot and protect it and basically we've got enough wire to wire up both of our lights so we're going to go ahead and get all that set up so here are the lights that we're using and they come just like this in the package and again i'll post a link down below a company did send me these lights i cannot remember what the brand name is it's a win-win situation for me and my neighbor so kind of fun I guess it's a win-win situation more for my neighbor, but at least you guys get to see something fun too. This little piece of hardware slips into a little key section on the light, just like that. It's pretty robust. Um, that's your mounting hardware. Let's see, let's make sure we're doing it right here. Yep, yep, slides in. That slides in, and then there's a little mounting screw. It's a hex head mounting screw, and it actually comes with a Allen wrench. So this, you drop a little hex head down in there, comes with everything you need. We got a little Allen wrench right here. So we'll snug her down nice. And this is the little mounting bracket hardware that came with it. You stick a little bolt in right through here and it comes with a little lock washer. Drop your lock washer on, snug that guy down. And that's it, that's how your light mounts. So it's gonna mount right to the front of this little easy go bumper, which I wouldn't wanna bump anything with it, but I bet you bump stuff with it, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> it's been bumped. So we'll mount it right to this little easy go bumper right here and it'll face right there. It's going to look a lot better and a vast improvement over the factory lights. Guys, while we're doing this, I wanted to mention, you know, I had some pretty 
nasty comments left on a video that I made about uh, putting some rocks out in my pond for fish habitat and for us to do some fishing off of. Some pretty, pretty nasty comments, things that, you know, people said, I unsubscribe to you because you're just simply wasting money and blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? I don't want anybody to mistake my kindness for weakness or my kindness for um, less than intelligent decision making. I'm, I'm kind and I enjoy myself and I like to share these things with you and I, I like to have fun. This is fun to me. Building a rock bridge out in the pond is fun to me. Going fishing is fun to me. It's just fun. So don't mistake the kindness and the gentle heart for a weak and less than intelligent person. Let's get busy. Kids, don't eat solder, okay? If you eat solder, it's not good for you. I'm going to let you know. Get him nice and warm. Put a little solder on there. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next wire. You see that smoke? That smoke is coming from that flux. Okay, that's good. Guys, while I'm putting these connectors together, I wanted to tell you, you know, people ask me a lot, how'd you learn how to do this? And any of the stuff that I do, how did I learn how to do it? I think it's just a lack of fear of trying something new. So don't be scared to do this kind of stuff yourself. Uh, we've got all our connections soldered up now and got one more piece of heat shrink to put on and we'll be done. We'll get it reassembled, make sure our lights work and we'll make sure our lights work first. We screwed up. We put the wire through the hole that the bolt goes through first. So we had to take it back apart twice, <laughs> but such is life. You live and you learn. You know, when you screw up and you do stuff twice, that's how you get good at it. All right? We're done. This is what the old one looks like, and that's what the new ones look like. So, look pretty sleek. Fire them up, Tony. Nice. So, folks, here at the end of the video, we'll show you a little test in the dark. I think these are going to be a big time improvement over these old style incandescent lights. So, these LEDs will last them for a long time, and they look cool. Nice. Guys, please don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and we'll be doing more stuff like this. We'll be doing farm stuff, installs, fun stuff, tool stuff. I was going to use these on my zero turn mower, and I may get the company to send me another one. We'll show you how to wire them up on a zero turn. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farmer. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video. Thanks a lot. See ya. Oh, be sure and stay tuned to the end when we test the light. I think Mr. Tony's pretty excited about that one. <laughs> well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Turn them on. Boom. Man, those things are bright. They did really, really good. I was very surprised. We'll get another look here. They're probably four times brighter than those regular incandescent lights, so... They did the job. Turn them off and back on. Crazy. It's a night and day difference. <laughs>